Woods with Photonic Health and my edition of Health Made Simple. And today I actually have two guests. Oh boy. I know. <laughs> um, most of you already know Brian Owen. He is the engineer and CFO and husband of mine from Photonic Health. But our extra special guest today is Andrea Gillespie of Farrier's Magic. Um, and so today we're going to be chatting all about horses' feet, one oh. of Brian's favorite topics, and I know Andrea's <laughs> favorite topics as well. So welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. So Andrea, we're so excited to have you here with us. We met you at one of the many trade shows um, that we've been to. And Most recently was... Equine uh, Affair. Yeah, in Mass, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Massachusetts, yes. And... Um, I'm a huge believer in nutrition and that horses, everything is healthy from the inside out first. And what yes. goes in is what's going to determine what comes out. Mm -hmm. And with horses and horses feed, especially there's a thousand, 10,000 variables that also go into that from not just nutrition, but also <clears throat> from proper trim and proper care. And so today, I wanted to kind of chat with you uh, about um, the, you know, we've seen the product, like we're originally from Wisconsin, we've traveled all across the world, we've been into a gajillion um, horse, you know, tax stores, feed stores, things like that. And it seems like Farrier's Magic is in a lot of places, especially mm -hmm. in the United States. And so it's one of those things, of course, I love to talk. So. <laughs> We got started chatting and your story's quite interesting. So can you give us a little bit of insight on how you got started into um, Farrier's Magic? Okay, I would love to. Um, I am third generation, family owned and operated. Um, we have multiple ag related companies and uh, the company that Farrier's Magic uh, comes out of is a manufacturing company. We have a manufacturing facility in Northwest Ohio. Uh, it's been in full operation since 1935. Uh, my family has owned it since 1995. So the way we got connected with Farrier's Magic is the previous company that owned it and the gentleman that started it, Republic Mills is the parent company. Um, we have made the pellets for the joint and the hoof supplements for uh, the previous company. We've made them for almost 30 years. Uh, they were bought out by a Japanese company about five years ago mm -hmm. and came to us and said, you want this? We don't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. I understand. So, you know, those, those kinds of transactions take place. It was a no brainer for me. I already make it. I know where the product came from. I know the quality of the product. I've had my hands on the product from the very beginning to the very end. Sure. You know, let's let's see what it can do. So, um, I know that it's a good product. It's a very it's an old formula, um, but if it's not broken, don't fix it. If it works, it works. Um, there have been some changes over the years. We increased the amount of biotin uh, when the studies came through that 20 milligrams of biotin was was the ideal amount. That's when it upped. That's when the name became Plus. It was mm -hmm. very, It used to be Farrier's Magic Straight, and I think it had 10 milligrams of biotin, and then it became Farrier's Magic Plus. And the Plus is all I carry now. There's no point in carrying a lesser amount of biotin when right. it's, that's the main, the main amount. So that's kind of how we got started in Farrier's Magic. And it's been um, pretty much myself and my two sons um, carrying doing, just that carrying aspect that of it. part of of the business. I, I, I'm in management over the entire business. We have right. five corporations overall and I'm the main, and, and I'm the main generation right now. My dad is, is shifting into retirement and he's right. doing the things that he loves to do. Yeah. Um, and I take on the rest and both of my sons have come into the business now too. Actually, the youngest started just last week on Tuesday. So, Yay! Um, so everybody in the family is in the business and everybody gets to do kind of the things that they enjoy and the things that, mm -hmm. that bring them life and energy. So that's awesome. So it, it, in today's world where everything is new and we see lots of new supplement companies and, a, and a lot of like the supplement industry has just 
blown up, especially in the past 10 years, I would say, um, to be able to find a company like yours where you guys have been manufacturing nutritional supplements, feed supplements for livestock for a very <laughs> long time. Um, it's a little to, bit of math. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit yeah. of math. Um, and to be experts in that industry and also for it to be U.S. based. Like, yes. That's, that's really, really important. super important and especially the quality because you know when we order from other countries and things like that unless we're actually in the business and know how to test for the quality of the product and to see what sort of additives are in there that they're not telling us that's one of the things um, you know, when we buy supplements online, they'll go, well, here, here's some ALA. But what they're not telling you is they're putting binders and fillers in it. Right. And we don't know that. And your animal could be having an allergic reaction or an adverse reaction to those binders and fillers. Yep. So yes. your and product is amazing because we know exactly what's in it. The other thing is that the horses like to eat it. How many, how many supplements have we bought? We put it in and horses go, uh-uh, oh yeah. not touching it. It yeah. tastes like, you know what. Right. And I have literally been knocked down at shows. You know, we've done Buckeye Reining and Ohio and, you know, the courses are in and out. And if, if I have a stand that horses are going by, I have literally been knocked down by a horse to get to the product. To to the the product. product. Yes. Yeah. Through a plastic bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know and, and and that's how like that's one of the things because I remember you can't I, get video of that fast enough because it just right, right. happens. But that was one of the things is because we have a particular mare who, despite having superb hoof care and superb nutritional support, we have really been struggling. And so I came to you and I chatted with you and I think I was pretty honest with you and said, mm -hmm. hey, I've got a whole feed room full of really expensive supplements that are supposed to help with the feed and she won't touch she won't eat them so before i commit yep. before i commit and I, think I sent a sample home yep you sent me a couple samples home <clears throat> and and that was exactly it like i offered it to her and then she was just like ravenous yeah. over it yeah. and to me that really shows me that it's something she you know horses are so intuitive Absolutely. and they know innately what they need and what they don't and want what in they, their bodies exactly yes. Yes. um you know and i'm going to use grazing <clears throat> as an example like if you put a horse like okay so we have a, a horse here on our property mustang came off of the range mustangs mm -hmm. are great examples they're in they're in <laughs> the sure. wild they're feral you see them when you're driving through Colorado and Wyoming and you look out and they look amazing, mm -hmm. like amazing, better than any horse in captivity. And then you look at the ground and you're like, what the heck are they eating? Because it doesn't There's not look much like there. anything yeah. is there. Mm -hmm. But what's actually there is a buffet of yes. different things. Yes. Yes. Um, so that's super cool that if we allow them to do the self-selection yep. process. And that's one of the the biggest sales points i think for us is we are small business not only are we everything made in the usa but we're small you have a question you go to my website and you send contact it's coming to my phone right um if you let's not product, give your phone number though it does not give my phone number no just don't give out your phone number right everybody be calling you but off it this. comes right to me <laughs> the email comes right to my email on my phone you're connecting to um the president of the company's a answering your questions right if you buy a 22 pound bucket from me and your horse won't eat it, you call me and I will buy it back. Right. I have 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I'll recommend something else or it just doesn't work. Yep. Um, I have in five years offering 100% satisfaction guarantee, I've not bought back the first bucket. Yeah. We believe that. So. We believe um, that. We Of that, of the hoof, of the action. Um, we also have a mineral product that also has 20 milligrams of biotin in it, which is a really nice, it covers exactly what you're talking about. It gets all of the, the vitamins and minerals that, that they need. Some people give it as, you know, free choice. Some people give it kind of however you want to give it, but. Awesome. So now I'm most familiar <clears throat> with your hoof supplement. Mm -hmm. So what we've noticed on our one mare because we started feeding it to her and we have definitely seen some huge improvements and one of the improvements is the 
thickness of the hoof wall. Well, that and the straightness of the wall a little bit too. So I'm going to, Brian, can you go through? Well, because he's the one that fi fixes the feet. The issue we had with this horse is that she really platters and she has very poor foundation of cartilage in the bottom of the foot and the back of the foot, which caused the foot wall to fan out and look like a platter. Mm -hmm. So what we did notice is that the wall did get thicker and also it started to stand upright. So my assumption what's happening is it's decreasing the inflammation in the foot, which is allowing blood to get up to the coronary band, which is then feeding the tubulars going down to the wall, making it thicker. And as well as taking any inflammation out and allowing blood to flow into all five plexuses of the foot to allow things to Get, get better but regenerate and, and stimulus because you got to have stimulus to get cartilage to get better and so i don't know i'm assuming it also affects the gut and that's probably what's going on why you're you're feeding the foot better because we all know what happens in laminitis when we put horses out on fresh hay or fresh grass or don't or change their, it affects the feet that fast that's so cool. it does start with the gut and goes all the way to the feet yes, yes. it's a whole a whole body health yeah Right, you don't just treat one, right, one aspect. Aside from being run over by a horse, <laughs> what has been your biggest um, success story that just sort of blew you away that you could like just blew you away? Whew. that's a tough one. Yep. So probably what stands out most to me as a success story is um, my sons have horses. I don't have a horse specifically myself. My sons have. Uh, three horses and we foster rescues over the winter for Bella Run Equine, which is in Southwest Ohio. Very cool. Um, Southeast Ohio, excuse me. And when we first set up with our new farrier, you know, of course she's seeing strong hooves. She's seeing a lot of growth, but you don't necessarily see the growth until you've got the strong um, hoof walls. Um, but I... I thoroughly enjoy when we bring in um, a rescue horse that has been malnourished or whatever. Um, the first step obviously is, is the feeds that we feed them and we keep them on something for probably a month before we start introducing anything else. Uh, but when we put them on the plus hoof supplement and the farrier comes in for the first trim and sees, you know, they, she's seen them once when they come in, but then that six weeks later, and it really is four to six weeks. She sees her comment is always, wow, I just can't believe this. And right. to me, when a farrier who has feet in their hands every single day, you know, says that it's not a specific success story, but it's, you know, it's neat to see those, those kinds of horses come in because they've been mis mistreated. They've been malnourished. They've been in all kinds of situations, surrendered for whatever type of reason. Um, and to see them become healthy and to start with the feet because if your feet aren't your feet aren't strong You don't have a good base. You don't have a great horse a Absolutely. No, no foot. No horse. Yes, so um, That's a great that leads me into another question So you say it's going to take about four to six weeks for them to see a difference and we did notice that however, Brian Can you explain to us? Because what I don't want people to think is that it's a in, fix. in four to six no. weeks, they're going to have a completely grown no. out foot. So no. can you go through and explain exactly <laughs> how long it's going to exactly. take? Exactly. Yeah. Typical horse takes anywhere from six months to a year to grow a full foot from top to bottom. And it grows from the coronary band down. So what you're probably seeing is there probably is more integrity between the hoof wall and what's called the terminal sole, which is the, the sole which is actually pliable. And that's getting a better bond so that way it's starting to pull in and get tighter and because of that then the tubes start tubulars start going down but in reality in six weeks you're only getting about three eighths of an inch of the top of the foot right. that's really made a change but that's huge because that's nourishing the rest of the foot mm -hmm. so um you don't don't think it's just going to take six weeks it's going right. to take you six months to a year to you, get a new you foot will see, the, the nice thing about a hoof supplement is you do versus a joint supplement it's not a, a joint supplement's not visual. Correct. You know, when it's an animal, you don't necessarily see like you do a little bit of change in a yeah. hoof and a hoof supplement. 
Um, if you know the animal well and you can look in their eyes, you know that they're feeling better on a joint supplement. Correct. But not everybody has that relationship with their animal right. either. So. And it's and it's all of everything. The horse start carrying itself better. Yes. They'll start moving more. Yes. So they'll start get all parts of the foot will start getting stronger. And that's what you're really seeing. Yeah. A lot of times with the hoof supplement, you'll see a change in their hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Their coat, and, and that's the biotin. That's the biotin. Yeah. Correct. Um, but that's a noticeable. Mm -hmm. You want to see when you purchase a product, you want to see that it's doing something. And just right. like any kind of supplement that we use for our own bodies, you don't take it for a month and go off of it. That's not what a supplement is. A supplement is not a fix. Correct. It's a supplement and it's the same for your horse. Correct. And biotin is a, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a B vitamin. It's yes. one of the B vitamins. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, are there any, like what other things are in there that... Oh, that's ancient Chinese. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> herbs and herbs and spices. Herbs and spices. <laughs> herbs and spices. Um, the nice thing about our product is it doesn't have a lot of products in it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of fillers in it. Um, when you look at the price of our product, right, it's not an exorbitant price. Right. I don't believe in that. I don't have. I have a markup that I need. To support my business and for distributors to be able you mean to you got to make money people just don't gotta understand money. that you got to make, make some money, money to run a business don't believe in taking advantage of people either we don't either um, everyone who loves a horse regardless of your income you love you love the horse and you should be able to properly care for that horse regardless of your income right uh, whether it's a six hundred thousand dollar horse or a free rescue horse uh, those animals deserve the best to be healthy and the best care that they can get. So those, some of the reasons, you know, a lot of people will say to trade show, well, your product's not very expensive. It can't be good. Right. That's always perception. Well, that's because I'm not out to take advantage of you. But you I think. You don't see Farrier's Magic all over every single magazine that you open up. Right. Because I'm not using those dollars for marketing necessarily. I'm using them for, for product. Correct. <clears throat> exactly. And that was one of the cool things that we loved about you as well is that your product was incredibly affordable. And um, I also had shared with you, like, I'm like, I'm not going to, I don't promote any products that we don't personally use mm -hmm. on our own farm because we have a range of horses aging from seven years old up to 27 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, you know, we're a small business as well. We're in it for the animals first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know, we we could have easily, when we started our company, charged thousands of dollars like laser therapy companies mm -hmm. do. And we opted not to do that. We opted to make it affordable for yes. virtually every horse owner. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of, we get that too. We get a mm -hmm. lot of people go, well, what's the difference between your $700 device and, and this $10,000 laser? And our answer is about $9,300 $9, <laughs> because at the end of the day, unless you're using a laser to do surgery with, right. it's doing the exact it's doing same, the thing. same thing and it's um, working <laughs> and, and it's work and it works. Yeah. And you know, like with us, we, we have a money back guarantee, but it's yeah. not, this isn't about us. This is about, yeah. this That's is how about I met Barry. Brian. He was trying to sell a red light at a trade show and I just walked up and I told the lady, I said, just spend the money. Yeah, that's right. He turned around. He's like. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? Like, it doesn't matter who I am. I have four of your lights and she should just spend the money. She won't regret it. <laughs> and that's how we met. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we appreciate yes. that. We appreciate that. But I think what's really people need to understand about why supplements are important is that horses <laughs> in the wild are not the same as horses in captivity. Correct. They don't move as much as that. They don't move anything like they do in wild. They usually go 20 miles a day in the wild, and they're not grazing all kinds of different products. So you have to have some kind of supplements to help out because that's not the same environment. Right. So that's why horses in captivity need some kind of supplements to, to help them. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but like one of the first signs of in, uh, deficiency, if mm -hmm. you will, is a change in coat whether it be texture or color yes. or shine or shine or shine yes. um and the feet and the feet you look for dry feet with cracks you know something's not right yeah yeah for exactly. sure that's a big one 
yeah for sure the big the, yeah. probably the biggest is is the coat because that's the first thing you look at mm -hmm. when you're when right. eyeing a horse yeah. yeah and i i don't know if you know like we we hear it when we're out working on horses or when we're chatting with people and they'll be like oh i can't put my horse outside in the sun because it'll bleach the ho the coat out I, have you never heard of that I live in Ohio. I don't know how much yeah. sun. <laughs> in Florida, it's pretty common Florida, to have a black, it's a very common thing. black horse and, turn brown and in the so, summertime. So it's really not the sun that's doing it. What's happening is because they're sweating way more than a horse. In a, although they're in losing Ohio, a lot of I have been in Ohio, in, in Ohio in the in summer. Ohio. It's, it's only a month and a half a year. Right, it doesn't last right, very doesn't long. Last very long. <laughs> but you know the the thing of it is is the sun will not directly bleach a horse out it's because they're outside mm -hmm. they're sweating they're perspirating they're losing the mineral content mineral electrolytes all kinds of things are changing yeah well we find inside. copper is one of the big ones exactly okay. and so so what i'm saying i think is just <clears throat> be aware like if your horse's coat is changing and your the feet are changing or the farrier says oh did you change something it's not good you need to be looking at <clears throat> your yeah. supplementation right and I away i think i you know every horse person is different everybody's got their own formula and what they want to do and how they want to do it and they'll tell you what it's supposed to be and they all tell you what's <laughs> perfect Right. You know, you, you talk to a lot of people that, you know, I just only supplement for a couple of months and we supplement our horses get joint and hoof all year round. Correct. All of our horses, they never go off of it. It's, it's your multivitamin every single day. Yeah. Um, I have tried to do a combination joint and hoof that has the same integrity of each one of my products and I can't get a formulation to please me. Um, so we do two different scoops because that's what's best for the horse, not necessarily what's convenient for the feeding the horse. Yep. Um, I love that. So I, it's, love that. I would love to have that product, but the nutritionists always seem like they want to change something and I don't, I don't want to do that. That's awesome. So I don't. Awesome. Yay. This has been, lo this has been lots of fun. Um, we could talk feet all day mm -hmm. and we could also talk nutritional talk all supplements kinds of things. all day. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> Andrea, like how can, if my people, if my viewers would like to learn more about your product or get in touch with you, what's the best way for them the to do that? The best way to get in contact with us is on directly on our website, www.farriersmagic.com. All the information is on there. Um, all of our suppliers are on there, so you can also find, you know, where you can get products, your Smart Packs, your Big D's, uh, your Chewy, uh, those kinds of things, and we are available through those bigger distributors. Um, That's awesome. But directly through our website, we ship directly out of the plant, uh, free shipping, so it, it's just as easy to order it through me. That's awesome. Or someone else, whatever your preference is, I, I like to make it easy. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for joining Thank us you. today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely.